Hi, Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to go over this new spreadsheet I created for you called Labor on Work Orders Pending and Completed. The spreadsheet should open right up for you if you've got Excel 2007 or 2010 and you have a 32-bit version of Windows. If you have a 64-bit version of Windows or if your Tatum's data file is on a network somewhere, um, then there's a link to another video that will show you how to get these uh, how to get these spreadsheets linked up to your Tatum's data, uh, wherever it might be. So in this spreadsheet, uh, you can see here that uh, we've got the equipment number, work order number, date requested. This is the date the work order was requested by somebody. Uh, the date to complete by this is when it should be completed by the date it was actually completed. So that becomes a completed work order at that point when that uh, date is entered in there. First name of the person doing the labor, last name, the labor description, labor notes, the hours or units taken on that labor item, how much cost uh, per hour, and the total cost for that labor item. Alright, so to uh, once you've got this spreadsheet opened up and you're looking at your data, you can slice it and dice it a little bit as far as being able to restrict what you are seeing so for example for equipment you could uh, if you wanted to see for example say equipment number 226 let me move this over so you can see this little fly out menu and we're gonna click on this down arrow here and then I'm gonna choose unselect the select all box and we're gonna take a look at equipment number 226 Click OK, and you can see now we're just looking at all the equipment, all the labor items for equipment number 226. You can do the same thing in any of these fields if you want to restrict it by uh, all the uh, labor items on a particular work order, uh, on a particular date requested, or date complete to complete by, or a date actually completed, or a technician's last name and or first name. Um, so, for example, on um, this particular criteria that we've selected which is equipment number 226 if we wanted to see how many hours have been spent or actually let's let's restrict this down by a particular day so we wanted to see everything done on this equipment number on the 16th of April all right and then we can just we wanted to see your get your totals for how many hours you're going to highlight this column so start at the top click drag down until it's highlighted and then right click choose copy and then we're going to go over to a, another sheet down here at the bottom click on this tab called sheet 2 right click in the first cell and choose paste and now we're going to highlight the column the items in the column and up here at the top right we have the sum button this little E looking thing click on that and now we've got our total hours taken on that piece of equipment on that day so I'm gonna go back over here to sheet one and we're gonna grab our total cost so we're gonna highlight total cost column we're going to right click, choose copy, go back over here to sheet 2, and I'm just going to paste it into the C column. Paste that in there, and then we're going to go back up here to the this E looking thing for the sum. Click on that, and then we have our total amount of money spent for labor on that piece of equipment on that day. And it could be just for that particular employee that was working on it as well. Go back over here to sheet one and we want to open this back up to other dates. So I'm going to go over here back over here as so you can see here it's got a filter, a picture of a filter at the top where the drop down arrows are. It lets you know that it's being filtered by that particular column right now. So if I click on that and then I choose to select all, it's going to bring in all the dates and then if I go to equipment number field, select all, that brings us back all the equipment again. So you can see how that can be useful for you. 
And I hope this spreadsheet helps you. And have a great weekend. Thanks a lot. Take care.